Now, the students affected by the strike have welcomed the uh, you know, announcement by the lecturers to suspend the strike action, but they are calling for more time to study because they say uh, they have not been able to concentrate on their books. Some of them have had to go home to attend to other issues, and so they are calling for some more time to be able to attend to uh, their studies, and then they will be prepared enough uh, for the examination. We've been speaking to some of them. Tutorials for you. Um, some of the students have gone home. Some of you are still in school. Are you ready for the exams? Because the way the conversations are going, it's looking like there might be some light at the end of the tunnel. So where's, where are your heads at in terms of getting ready for exams, picking yourselves back up, you know, and just diving straight back into finishing up the semester? Yeah, um, I think the readiness of students is there. Um, I mean, looking at the fact that students have been given about two weeks to prepare themselves, I think the readiness is there. But my point is, if the strike is going to be called off very soon and the school would have to, you know, come up with a new examination time to go, I would only plead, or I'm actually pleading with the school's management to give students some one week. I understand that you've actually given them enough time to prepare themselves, but you should equally understand that the challenges to some extent made students, you know, take the attention of academics. That is why Leon I indicated that they were in a state of dilemma. I mean, it has its own psychological effects. Um, there are some local students that I think they, they are supposed to move outside this, I mean, move outside Ghana to um, pursue their academic activities. But of course, um, the strike yeah. has made them remain on campus. So to say that our students are ready, that is actually true. But I'm, I'm actually looking at maybe at least a week um, for students to prepare themselves before we start the examination. So what? And uh, of course, we've been making efforts to speak to the National Labour Commission on the outcome of today's uh, court proceedings. We'll bring that to you in our subsequent bulletins. We also understand that the leadership of NUCS, that's the National Union of Ghana Students, is meeting the president over this issue and others will bring you an uh, update in our subsequent bulletins. This is Johnny's. Today, with me and Asmin, we have business coming up. Please don't go out.